the southwest monsoon struck Sri Lanka. It'll go on raining like this on and off for the next four months. Although that can cause chaos here, at least we're never short of water. But other places are desperately dry, and some people claim to solve that problem with a strange power. Can people really find water with a divining rod? This British colonel is convinced that dowsing works. With just a forked twig, he found water for a town of 10,000 people. This American prospector douses for oil. This is how it works right here. And I can show you the proof. It's good oil. His oil wells have brought him millions of dollars. What secret lies in the diviner's hands? Mysteries from the files of Arthur C. Clarke, scientist, writer, and visionary. The scientist who invented the communication satellite, the writer of 2010. And now, in retreat in Sri Lanka, the visionary who ponders the riddles of this and other worlds. There's one part of Sri Lanka that the monsoon rains often miss, and that's the dry zone here in the southeast. So this is the sort of place where you'll meet water diviners or dowsers who claim to find underground water with nothing more than a bent twig. Around the world, some dowsers claim not only to find water, but also precious metals and even oil. Nathan McDowell is a professional oil dowser. In his Cadillac, he cruises the countryside of Illinois, prospecting from the driving seat. When the rod twitches, wife Marge has to steer. I have my wife on journey to hold the wheel while I'm driving. And uh, give me a little scare once in a while. <laughs> Just don't go too fast now. That's the way we do it. Yeah, it's working real good here. Clayton claims dowsing rods should work for anyone. Most people they'll work for. The fellow I got them from said if they didn't work for you, uh, you were dead. So <laughs> It still won't work for me. <laughs> it certainly seems to work for Clayton. He claims 90% of the wells he dowses yield oil, far above the success rate of his more conventional rivals. The fields of Edwards County, Illinois, are alive with his pump jacks, and oil companies clamor to hire him. I doused all these wells over here for maybe oil company and staked their locations for them. One of Clayton's most spectacular finds was in the grounds of Edwards County High School. It's been running short of cash. Principal Bob Wallace. Money is very short this year. Programs have been cut. A lot of our equipment has been used for more years than it actually should. We used to depreciate our books in five years, and now then we're going on more like a seven or eight year program. Clayton offered to help out. He doused the school grounds, and he soon struck pay dirt right next to the playing fields. They decided we had oil, and uh, he drilled this well, and we got one. The school well is producing 110 barrels a day, and the school will get one-eighth of the revenue. We imagine about uh, three or four hundred dollars a day, and so you multiply that by 365, that's going to be a good piece of change. We love it. Dowsing is known locally as witching. Headmasters are usually skeptical of such things. As an academic, I feel it hard to believe that oil can be found by witching and all that. But it's been very successful, and with the money we're getting, it's going to make a hell of a difference in our school. <laughs> hey! What did our get you? Clayton's latest well is being brought in. The drilling mud has been cleared with acid, and the first oil is coming to the surface. Clayton sinks more than 30 holes a year, all discovered by dowsing. 
almost all produce top quality oil. Clayton's success has amazed conventional geologists like Paul Mullinax. The results speak for themselves. Uh, he has a better success ratio than almost anyone that I know of in this area. About 75% uh, of, of all the wells he's drilled have been uh, commercial producers. Clayton's dowsing rod, which he calls his bug, has brought him a studful of fine trotting horses, a profitable sideline. But I really make my money out of oil. And the reason I do is because I use this bug all the time to find the oil. In West Germany, the British Army of the Rhine has also benefited from a dowser's skills. It's commanded from JHQ Rheindahlen, a town of 10,000 people near Munchen Gladbach. Construction of the base began in 1952. In charge was Colonel Harry Grattan of the Royal Engineers. Colonel Grattan is now retired, but whenever he returns to the base he built, his first visit is to the scene of a personal triumph, the Army Waterworks. Thank you. Hello, Hello, Herr Ulrich. Pleased to meet Very you. Very nice to see you again. Welcome in Rheindahlen. Today, the works provide all the headquarters needs. But water was a problem when Harry Grattan was planning the base. To supply Rheindahlen's schools, offices, living quarters and barracks, he needed at least 700,000 gallons a day. Local German waterworks offered a supply, but Grattan knew this would be expensive and was doubtful about its quality. Some of it was very hard, up to 36 degrees of hardness. And it wasn't a water which we cared for, either for, for drinking or shaving or boiler houses or pipes or anything. So the Colonel cut a divining rod. He already knew there was one small well of good water on the headquarters site. Something's dragging it down. But could he really find enough for an army? Naturally, I'd uh, consulted with the German geologists as to the lie of the land here and what they thought about the prospect of water. And uh, they were reasonably impressed by the first findings that we made on the headquarters site itself. But they are rather gloomy.